Hello, everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to factor trinomials where a is greater than 1. Now, when I'm talking about a, I'm talking about the term here, and I'm talking about the number in front of the x squared. We call that a. So you'll notice in both of our examples today, a is greater than 1. So we're going to use something called factoring by grouping to solve this, uh, these two problems here. So let's start with this one here. It says factor completely. 6x squared minus 5x minus 4. So what we're going to do is we're going to label those three numbers as a, b, and c. And when you factor trinomials in this form, over here in the margin, I'm going to write a, c equals, and b equals. Okay? a, c means I need to multiply a, c, 6 times negative 4, negative 24, and b is negative 5. All right? Now, the reason why we do that is we are going to take this middle term, and we're going to break it into two terms. So we're going to leave the 6x squared. We're going to leave the negative 4. We're going to leave the first and last term. But we're going to break the middle term into two terms. And the two things we pick, need to multiply to negative 24 and need to add to negative 5. So when I think about my factors of negative 24, I realize that 8 times 3 is 24. And to make it negative, I need to make one of them negative. And to make it so there's more negative, I need to make the negative 8 and the positive 3. So, these two terms should add up to negative 5x, which they do. And the reason why I picked those is I asked myself, what two numbers multiply to negative 24 and add up to negative 5? Negative 8 times 3 multiplies to negative 24 and adds up to negative 5. So, that's our first step here in factoring by grouping. We split up that middle term so that it, it uh, now becomes uh, an expression with four terms. And now this is where factoring by grouping actually begins. We're going to GCF just the first two terms. And we're going to GCF separately the second two terms. So what's the GCF of the first two terms? Well, 2 is the largest number that goes into both of them and they both have 1x in common. So uh, 2x is our GCF, and when we factor that out, when we divide both of those terms by 2x, we get 3x minus 4. So these two terms factor using GCF to become that. And then the second two terms, well, they don't have a GCF, but I still need to pretend like there's one. So the GCF of these is 1, so I'm going to put a plus 1, and then parentheses, I'm going to just leave the 3x minus 4 because when I divide both of those by 1, nothing changes. Now, you'll notice that both of our parentheses are the same thing. That's on purpose. Now we're going to look at this whole statement and we're going to GCF factor. Both of those have a 3x minus 4. So we're going to factor that out. The answer to these questions is always what was in the parentheses becomes one factor. And then the stuff in front of both parentheses, that becomes the other factor. So our answer to this question, 6x squared minus 5x minus 4 factored completely is 3x minus 4 in parentheses and 2x plus 1 in parentheses. And if I wanted to check my work here, I would just use box method. I would multiply those using box method. Now for the second example here, let's factor this one completely. This is going to be the same exact process. We're going to break this into two terms. And over here in the margin, I'm going to say AC is 5 times 21, which is 105. And B is negative 22. So we need 5x squared and 21. Remember, the first and last term never change. 
This middle term is going to be broken down into two numbers, two terms that add up to negative 22x, and the coefficients multiply to be 105. Now, when I um, when I think about this, I need to think about what what numbers are 22 apart, right? Like if I pick the number 2, 22 apart from that would be 24. Do those two numbers multiply to 105? No. How about 3 and 25? No, those multiply to 75. How about 4 and 26? Those multiply to be 94. We're getting close. 5 and 27? 5 times 25 is 120. So what we need to do is keep going. If you are stumped like me and you don't know the factors, Remember, you can go on your calculator, you can go to the y equals screen. You can do 105 divided by x in your y equals screen. And then you can go to the table and you can look through, scroll through and find two factors that are 22 apart, two factors that would um, that would add up to negative 22. So how about negative 15 and negative 7? Those two numbers would multiply to 105, and those two terms would add up to negative 22. So again, to do that, you hit y equals. You type in the number we're trying to find the factors of, in this case, 105. We divide that by x, and then we uh, go to the table and scroll through until we find the numbers that we need. I ignore all the decimals. Ignore all the decimals and focus on the numbers that uh, are full numbers, or in this case, integ. All right, let's go back to roofing. Let's GCF those two. The GCF of those two is 5x. And when we divide both of those by 5x, we end up with x minus 3. And the GCF of both of those is 7. And when we factor that out, we get x, uh, x plus 3. Uh-oh. So if I factor out a, plus, a 7, that would be a plus 3, right? And that 7 is negative. So let's actually take a negative 7 out. I want both of these parentheses to be the same, right? So if I just take a regular 7 from both of these, this will be a negative x and this will be a positive 3. We don't want that. We want that to be a positive x and we want that to be a negative 3. So that's why my GCF was a negative 7. And then remember, your answer is the stuff in front of the parentheses goes in its own parentheses. And the two parentheses are the same. That's the other parentheses of this question. So factoring completely, those two uh, factors, 5x minus 7 and x minus 3, if we were to multiply those, we would get our original answer, 5x squared minus 22x plus 21. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.